Mmm. God damn, Jimmy. This some serious gourmet shit. Me and Vincent would have been satisfied with some freeze-dried taster's choice, right? <laughs> and he brings this serious gourmet shit on us. Hey, welcome back to another video. Now, we're going to be talking about probably the stupidest thing I've ever had to lay my eyes on. And I guess it's probably going to go downhill from here. I mean, it's, it's, they're probably going to be new lows. We're talking about Twitter users and we're talking about PETA specifically. Now, give me a moment. I will tear into PETA afterwards. But the reason we're complaining and moaning and bitching and crying is that Power World, a game that decides to be a video game and non-realistic in any way, shape, or form, I guess besides a survival element of, you know, it's just normal you know, stuff for a survival game, they, they take the goofy little idea of being a video game and go, hey, what if we had Pokemon with guns? And that's exactly what this game is. Now, if you've ever played Ark, you know what Ark is. Ark, you know, you're on an island with dinosaurs, you gotta tame the dinosaurs, and you gotta build up bases and camps and stuff and survive. That's kind of the same deal here, only you can interact with pals more like how you could, how like Pokemon kind of exist in their lore. You know, they kind of do their own thing. They're, they're capable of doing tasks. That's, that's the same thing. You gotta upkeep your mental health of your pals and you know, you gotta make sure everyone's happy. That kind of deal. It's not that difficult. It's, you know, you just kind of just kind of you know, play the game and you'll be able to upkeep that. Uh, Power World has pissed off PETA and Twitter to the point where they believe that it promotes slavery, animal cruelty, yada, yada, yada. Whatever bullshit excuse they can throw out, they're throwing it out. Now, you're probably asking, why is there so much hate for it? Where, where is the, what's, what's, are they valid in this? Uh, the answer, I'm probably gonna, I'm just gonna be sure with you, absolutely not. These are some of the stupidest reasons I've ever heard anyone cry about this game. And they seem to be just crying about it just because it looks too much like Pokemon. And then they want to nitpick and just pick parts, uh, pick things apart. Now, there's nothing, there's no other game like Power World in the sense that it's just that goofy and it's very good color palette and it's, uh, art style, you could say the art style is similar to, like, newer Pokemon games, but newer Pokemon games suck fuck, alright, we're just gonna we're gonna get that out of the way, they suck ass and uh, Power World is everything that you'd want out of a like a new Pokemon game, it looks good visually, you can see very far, you do whatever you want, right, uh, and it's you know, it's a video game in that sense, and they're saying, you can have them in work camps and they're saying that, you know, the uh, the pals being in work camps promotes animal cruelty and we, you know, all this other shit there was also people saying that the game was made using AI, so we should hate the game. Now, first of all, I don't understand what's with this witch hunt about AI, because, I mean, there's a lot of good things AI can be used for. And if the industry is shifting, you have to understand what AI is made of. And clearly half these people don't fucking know what, what AI is actually made of. So they just, they just point and they're like, new thing bad. Uh, there's no evidence that there was AI used. If there is, I would put an update. I'll put an update and I'll pin it in the comments. I'll let you know. Uh, on top of that, we have the whole thing saying that they ripped straight assets or stuff from Pokemon. Some of the designs are a little close. I could see that. Uh, and then the rest of them are like, I mean, not even. They're com completely different shapes. Oh, they use the color green on a fucking a bird, right? And they're like, damn, that looks a little close. I don't know. That looks like a Pokemon. And the same guy who said that they were this, uh, basically just the same meshes and they traced over them. Realistically, uh, you could trace over them and it wouldn't be a big deal. Pokemon and Nintendo knew about this game coming for a while and they easily could have hit this and be like, hey, you stop doing what you're doing. And they didn't. They have all the grounds to and they didn't. And it came out that the guy who was saying that the meshes are the same was just fucking lying. And he was just you know, pull shit out of his ass. Whoa, D didn't see that coming with Twitter. Uh, oh man, I thought Twitter was a platform of integrity. Now all jokes aside about how, uh, you know, we're, we're all dogging on uh, Twitter users and PETA. Let's be real and it's, I mean, I'm gonna include games journalists in here too. Those guys gotta go in the, in the fold because they're on your Twitter users by default for me at the very least and hopefully for you as well because I mean, 
I, you on paper they're the same fucking thing. Let's let's get into this. So I looked at a couple articles as well, uh, and the PETA came out and said some shit like, "We want a vegan option uh, or some some garbage for Pal World because we don't want to eat our pals." But it's cool to put them in work camps. That's um, uh, okay. And then I saw other articles saying that it's you know it, since it promotes animal cruelty because you put them in work camps and things like that and you make them fight. First of all, I'm gonna stop you right there, and I'm gonna tear into them real quick. I'll tear into PETA right after this. Um, the games, the two games that were compared were Pokemon and Ark. Let's start with Ark. I, I'm gonna start tearing apart this argument. Ark, you spawn on an island, and pretty much everything can kill you. You're significantly smaller in, in, in size and scope, everything, in every sense of the word. That the whole point is to build yourself up from that point. Um. You, you literally, how you tame animals is you force feed them narcotics and other food after beating the sh out of them mercilessly and not rendering them unconscious or in incapacitated entirely, right? And then they you befriend them, you know what I mean? And you could probably make the argument, oh, it's just a bunch of lizards. There's more than that in Ark. There's more animals in that Ark. Um, yeah, they're all fictitious. You could argue that. So were the pals in Pal World. But because they look cute, it's bad. It, it, it makes you feel bad and all of a sudden. You eat the animals in Ark. You tame the animals in Ark. You fight the animals in Ark. You build shit in Ark. Wh where is that coming from? Where was the heat for Ark then? I didn't, I, don't, I didn't. I don't remember any heat. And I'm not seeing any heat for it now. Same thing with Pokemon, right? We're, we're on this. We're harping on these strings about we, you know, it's too close to Pokemon. And Pokemon would never do something like this. In, in the lore, do you think the, the Pokemon that you beat the hell out of, uh, put into a ball and put in your backpack, and then, you know, you leave them at day camps uh, to, to breed with another Pokemon that they've never met before, and then you pull them back out, take their kid away from them or whatever, and then, you have, you know, you force feed them shit to do evolve or something. Uh, you, you, you force them to move up or level up to, to fight stronger, fight more, more often. You know, I, I'm getting a little, uh, yeah, getting a little off there with, with my words. But you're getting the point, right? You really think that that's comparable to this and saying that that's better? I'm seeing a lot of articles like this where they bring up Ark and Pokemon and they're like, it's just not, a, it's not the same. How? I, the, you're, you're saying that this is, you know, this is more lighthearted than Power World? Excuse me? Uh, isn't wasn't isn't there a bunch of lore in Pokemon and in the games as well, mind you, that there's like horrible fucked up shit that happens all the time, and we're just not going to talk about that? Uh, no, it's because it's my favorite product or some stupid garbage like that. So it's, it's it's the same thing that I have for console fanboys or platform fanboys. Uh, I say the same thing because PC players do that shit all the time too. I, I, I'll call them out. Why? Why? Because it's your favorite. It's not the. It's not the same. Where's that come? Where's the same energy? I'm not seeing it anywhere. And uh, allow me to tear into PETA real quick, because PETA is. I don't even know why they step in. Uh, again, back to what I was saying about they have to be making money from humiliation, because PETA commonly uses the worst examples, trying to compare humans to animals and whatever. Isn't PETA the same uh, group or company, whatever they are, that picked up a bunch of dogs and cats in North Carolina and offed them before they even got across the border? Aren't they the leading in euthanasia rates and continued to not be able to find homes for any animals at all that they I would say that are would be pets or anything? Uh, none of that. None of that ever happens. Aren't they the same company where they had the issue with... Uh, someone literally abducted a so, uh, family's dog off the porch and then euthanized it in the same day. And in response to that, they decided to leave the family a fucking fruit basket. Who the fuck do you guys think you are saying this stupid shit? Uh, talk about vegan shit. Don't you, don't, didn't they fucking do some shit with like naked women in a cage? Saying that they were like uh, comparing them to cows? They're, they're, they're not even the same, not even close to the same thing. What are you, what are you guys smoking? I don't know what you're on about with this shit, right? We're fucking lo and behold, Peter jumps into the argument on uh, anything regarding what looks like a fucking animal, right? There's no argument that you could pr uh, like pr bring to me uh, against uh, the animal thing with with Power World, and there's no never been any actual substantial research that supports this idea that everyone keeps trying to bring up that 
there's violence against animals and it promotes violence against animals. And in the sense that video games promote violence, there's never been that. There's never been that. Yeah, you could probably bring it. Oh, this uh, serial killer played video games. So fucking what? So he was, it's not like he was mentally fucking stable to begin with. We're bringing up video games and saying that they cause real issues. No, we're just getting lazy and ignoring the fact that mental health is an actual issue in this, in the United States specifically that needs to be handled. And instead of taking the time to do the research and put in the effort, we're taking the easy route out and blaming a video game again. I, and I know I was a little like jumpy on this one I, towards the end. I just feel passionately about like something, you know, something like that when we're ignoring mental health again and treating them mentally stable like they were stable before they got their hands on video games. It's not even close to true. I, I've been playing video games for a long time and I, I, I take care of myself. I carry myself as well as I can. I try to dress myself as well as I can. I try to go on through my career as well as I can. And I'm not mentally unstable because I play video games in a pastime, right? You know what I mean? It's, it's stupid. If you can bring me an actual uh, a piece of evidence, relevant, recent piece of evidence that's not like some stupid shit pulled off and there's not, you know, there's only one study done. No, I'm going to need actual hundreds of studies done that prove this fact. Hundreds. Because there's thousands that prove that that's not the case. And, you know, the mentally unstable are the reasons why the mentally unstable do things. You know what I mean? It's, I, I'm rambling a little bit. You get the point. This is the stupidest thing I've ever fucking read in my life or heard in my life. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There's no reason for this, this outcry and uh, complaining about this game. And there's no reason for PETA to get involved because PETA literally is the worst leading example in human history. You could probably just type in what they did and find a huge list of everything wrong that they do all the time. And they would like you to believe that they're the, the good guys. And then it's not even close to the case, not even far from it and then twitter users would like you to believe that the the good guys and again uh lowest iq in the room drinking stupid juice you know what i mean let me wrap this up because we're at like the 12 minute mark now um again all these people are terrible examples bring up terrible comparisons i don't even know why they're yapping right so uh subscribe stick around like if you like it dislike if you dislike it let me know what you want to see gameplay wise in the background uh, if you want me to change the game uh, I've been playing a lot of Destiny. A lot of people have been like that. Not really sure uh, what else to go to from here. Uh, and then music-wise, um, uh, let me know if you got any suggestions that I'm able to use at the very least. Thank you. See ya.